There are five reasons why your next wood fence should absolutely be built with steel post. And if you hang around to the end, we've got a bonus consideration just for you. But first, if you enjoy the video, it would mean a lot to us if you went ahead and gave it a like. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification each time we upload new content. With that being said, let's dig into it. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. Now, before we get into the top five, it's important to note there are two categories of steel posts that fence contractors use when building wood fence. The first is gonna be a round steel post that you've probably seen installed on chain link fences that they add an adapter to, a bracket, that then allows it to be used for wood fence. The second category, and the one I prefer, is a post specifically made to be used on wood fence. A product that I use a lot is the Postmaster Steel Post by Master Halco, but there are other brands and varieties of posts specifically built for wood fence, and I think that makes all the difference in the world. That being said, let's get into the top five. The first consideration is gonna be longevity. Now, the number one reason that most fences are replaced is because of the posts. Specifically, the posts have rotted, or they have insects. The posts just failed to hold up the fence. Now, with steel posts, we don't have this consideration at all. Steel posts obviously aren't going to rot, and they're typically either galvanized or they have a coating that resists rust. So by taking posts out of the equation altogether, you've doubled, tripled, maybe quadrupled the lifespan of that wood fence simply by swapping the post out to steel. Second, steel posts are incredibly strong. They're significantly stronger than their wood post counterparts. When talking about the Postmaster Post by Master Halco, is warranted for wind loads of up to 70 miles an hour. Now that's almost twice the wind load capacity of a standard four before treated pine post. And let's be honest, if you have wind loads of more than 70 miles an hour, you probably have bigger concerns than your fence. We're talking about roofs and sidings, the poor kid's trampoline is two states away. The fence is gonna be the last thing you worry about. Typically it's wind loads of 30, 40, 50 miles an hour that most wood posts would struggle with steel posts aren't even gonna miss a beat. The third consideration is huge, and it's the fact that steel posts typically carry warranty. The Postmaster Post by Master Halco carries a lifetime warranty, namely against rust and corrosion. The wood post counterparts don't carry warranty at all. They can warp or twist, crack, check, they can rot, and really your only option is to go buy another one and either pay someone to replace it or replace it yourself. And honestly, that doesn't sound like a good option at all. The fourth consideration is gonna be cost of repair or replacement down the road. As I said before, the number one reason people replace fences is because the fence posts typically rot or they warp, twist, etc. But we've taken that out of the equation with steel posts. So the next thing down the line that's going to need replacing is gonna be either your pickets or your horizontal rails. Now, that is gonna be quite a bit further down the line, but at some point it will have to be done but when that fence needs either repaired or replaced, you're not gonna have the expense of digging up the old post, setting new posts, waiting for them to cure, and then coming back and replacing the fence. You've taken that off the equation completely. You could find yourself saving as much as 50% of the cost of replacing that fence simply because you paid to upgrade your post in the first place to a steel post. The fifth consideration is that the posts essentially disappear. With traditional wood posts, you're stuck deciding whether you or your neighbor is gonna be left looking at the post for the life of that fence. The steel posts are actually built into the fence. They're built in line with the fence so that neither you or your neighbor end up looking at the post. But to describe this better, let's take a look at some pictures. The first picture is a wood fence that you've seen all the time. It's the finished side of the fence and this isn't gonna change. But now let's look at the back side of the fence where we really see the difference. All right, so the back of the fence is starting to look a little bit different. We don't see post every eight feet. We do see a vertical picket. It's used to cover up the post, but the posts themselves aren't visible at all. But to really get a good feel for exactly how this works, let's actually look above the fence. Let's look at a top down photo. All right, this actually illustrates it perfectly. So what you can see is the post itself actually sits in line with the fence. The two by fours, instead of being nailed or screwed on the outside of the post 
are actually in line with this post. The post becomes part of the fence rather than the fence adding on to the post. It's really gonna shrink down the total width of the fence. And like I say, neither you or your neighbor is gonna have to see this fence post ever. All right, you stuck around to the end and I really appreciate that. The added benefit of using a steel post as opposed to a wood post kind of relates to that last point where we talked about the post actually being installed in line with the fence. And this is actually a consideration that we hadn't even thought about until we started building fence using the steel post. And that is in the situation where there's a neighboring fence that for whatever reason either can't or won't be removed, the new fence has to go up against the old fence. Now traditionally you would have your existing fence line and then you'd have a four by four or a six by six post and then you'd have the two by four bolted onto that, and then you'd have a picket nailed onto that. So you'd actually have from the finished side of the fence to the existing fence, probably five and a half or six inches off that fence. What we found was when we used the Postmaster steel post or any steel post purposely built for a wood fence, the fence is gonna sit in line with that post, exactly like what we saw in the pictures. So what we're seeing is the width of the fence is actually only gonna be about two and a half or three inches off the finished side of that existing fence. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna save yourself a little bit of room there. You're gonna increase the size of your backyard by several inches, which doesn't sound like much, but if there's anything that's for sure, it's that yard sizes keep getting smaller. And at some point, every inch is absolutely gonna become valuable. Also, when you're using the wood post, you're left with about a three and a half inch gap in between the existing fence post and the finished side of that fence and the two befores. Now that's a gap that grass is gonna grow up into. You're not gonna be able to get to it easily because that existing fence is still there. Also, debris can blow into it. It's gonna be a nightmare to keep clean is the point. And it's something that I think could make all the difference in the world. Guys, I appreciate you sticking this out to the end. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, go ahead and give it a like. Also, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell so that YouTube sends you notification every time we have new content available for you. Also, if you did find this video entertaining, we have a couple more videos for your viewing pleasure. As always, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.